Hello everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create this. Open After Effects, go to the project panel, create a new pop position. Change the font name to the main render. Preset custom with 1080 height 1080. Set duration time to 10 seconds and click OK. Right click here to create a new solid. Change the solid name to PG. Make com size and click OK. Go to the effects and preset. Type fill. Drag and drop on the layer. Now go to the project panel. Today we're going to work with this folder called tutorial and I will give you this code project file download link only in my Patreon page. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. After downloading the project file, you will get this color palette and the concrete wall image. Choose the color pale orange with the help of color pick. Now go to the project panel, search for the concrete wall image, drag and drop on the timeline and adjust a scale value to something like this. Now select the layer, press F4 to open modes. If you don't find this mode, right click here, enable it. Now change the blending modes to overlay. Let's do some color correction to this concrete wall image because I need some little bit darker orange. To do that, go to the effects and preset, type curves, drag and drop on the layer and adjust the curves to something like this. I like to give some highlights. To do that, again go to the effects and preset, type CC vignette, drag and drop on the layer. Now select the vignette effect, bring this above. Now change the angle of view amount to 35. Looks perfect. Now let's start creating a text animation. To do that, first you have to go to the project panel, create a new composition. Change the composition named text. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the toolbar menu. Select T icon to create a new text. Type any text as you like. I'm going to type as default model. I'm using this interesting font called Benton Sans. It's really amazing. One of my favorite font. Now set the font size 220 and don't forget to change the font color also. Now select the text layer, go to the toolbar menu, select the pan behind tool. Now change the anchor point to something like this. Hold control or command D, we get the text layer. Rename the text layer to stylish. On the text layer, make sure to solo it and change the anchor point to something like this. Now select both layers, press S to open scale property, unlink it. Now select the modern text layer, click here on stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Set the scale amount to zero. Now go forward once again. Again you can change the scale amount to 100. You have to do the same process for the other text layer also. Create a keyframe on scale property. Go forward again one second. And this time I'm going to change scale value to zero. Select all the keyframes, press F9 to ECE, ease. open the graph editor. If you don't find this edit speed graph value, right click here to enable the edit speed graph. Now you can tweak the graph value to something like this. By pressing N, 
you can create mark in and out right click here on the work area and select trim form to work area now go to the main render and again go to the project panel select the text composition drag and drop on the timeline now select the text composition press s to open scale property reduce the scale amount to 65 now double click on the text composition Select here region of interest. This is a very interesting tool. Region of interest tool allows you to create a box around a specific area in the frame. On composition settings, you can change the crop composition to region of interest. Now go to the main writer, select the text composition layer, or the control or command D to duplicate the layer. And again go to the project panel, select the text composition, again hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate and make sure to rename the layer. Now what you have to do is make sure to select the both text composition by pressing Alt, drag and drop on the timeline to replace the composition. If you preview this, you can see it's not looping. I want looping animation should be done properly. To fix this problem, double click on the text to composition. Now select the modern text layer, change the name to stylish. Make sure to swap the fill to stroke. Now at the top layer, change the name to modern. And also swap the fill color also. For continuous looping animation, make sure to select the both text opposition layer, hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer, and adjust a few settings as shown. Now select all text composition layer, hold Ctrl or Command Shift C to pre-compose or you can do it manually by pressing right click and choose pre-compose. Change the pre-comp name to text animation. Now double click on the text animation composition. And again, you can change the crop to the composition to region of interest. Now go to the main render, select the text animation composition, hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Make sure to rename the layer. And again, you have to duplicate the text animation to composition. And again, you have to rename the layer. Now change the position to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Now select the text animation one composition. Go to the effects and presets. Type walk. Drag and drop on the layer. Now we can change the bend about to zero. Click here on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe on horizontal distortion. Change the horizontal distortion amount to 30. Go forward at one second. Create a keyframe and change the horizontal distortion amount to minus 30 and go forward at 2 seconds and change the horizontal distortion amount to 30. Now select all keyframe, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this.
Now select the text animation one composition. Press U to open only keyframe properties. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch icon to open expression. Now I am going to type a simple expression called loop out. L O O P capital O U T open and close parentheses. Now what I am going to do is first select the text animation one form, copy the warp effect, and I am going to paste on the other two layers. Now selling the all text composition layer, right click, choose time, enable time remapping. Now again select all text animation composition layer, press U to open all keyframe properties and adjust a few settings as shown. And finally, let's give some simple motion for the text layer. To do that, select the text animation 1 composition layer, press P to open position property, create a keyframe, go forward few frames, and change the X position to something like this. Now again, go forward few frames, copy the first keyframe and paste it. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Now hold Alt and click on the stopwatch icon to open expression. Again you can give a simple expression called loop. Type loop out. Open and close parentheses. Now you have to do the same process for the other two layers also. Now hit the spacebar button to review the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. Every video on my YouTube channel and Instagram is made with love and hard work. Consider to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.